hey guys my name is jen aka green and sheen and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so today i want to do a cabinet refresh there's a lot of dead mites everywhere there's bee pollen everywhere from when i was trying to like feed the mites or whatever and just overall like i just want to clean it up i want to clean it up also i in my last video which was like um i'll tag it up above but it was basically an updates video and i had a few people comment on the anthuriums that had like some weird spots on them and i've had a few people tell me it could be like bacterial or is it focused on me okay <laughs> i had a few people tell me that it was bacterial related or fungal or something someone even said could it be a virus i don't freaking know i removed those anthuriums specifically out of the cabinet and i have them isolated like in their own like plastic bin and i'm gonna be treating those as well i don't know if i'll show that in the video but basically you guys are just gonna be chilling with me hanging out <laughs> watching me clean this up i still don't know if i want this video to be like a day of plant chores like if i don't know if this will be the only thing i have so much to do today there's so much to do i have not touched my plants in like four days like after i posted that updates video and i heard that my anthuriums could have something bacterial or fungal related that really just like i don't know it really stressed me out but i had a lot of plans that weekend after the video was posted so i was just like you know what that's not a problem for me right now <laughs> like i was like i'm just gonna leave my plants alone isolate those and that'll be a problem for future jen and that is the problem today so i have to address a lot of things there's a lot of thirsty plants i have to treat plants spray them down <sighs> so so much so freaking much to do um but anyway let's freaking get into it another thing i wanted to show you guys so i ordered these acrylic shelves online like through amazon and i would really love to add these to the cabinet specifically like the middle section of course i'll show you guys whenever i'm setting it up but yeah i figured these would be perfect to like set up and then just have my seedlings like kind of sit up on there so that they'll be closer to the light and there will be more room and all this other stuff but first the first thing i have to do is get everyone out of the freaking cabinet so let's freaking do it <laughs>
just wiped what focus <laughs> i just wiped down the entire cabinet if i look shiny it's because yes i was sweating a little bit but <laughs> she's clean y'all i'm getting beneficials again soon i will not be doing the bee pollen this time <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to do the bee pollen this time. I felt like it was filthy because of the bee pollen. And of course, just naturally when you spill dirt and water and just like all this other stuff. Yeah, you're expected. You, like you will see that like on the napkin as you're like cleaning up or whatever you're using. But I feel like it was just brown from just bee pollen for the most part. But anyway, I'm about to... set up these plant shelves these acrylic plant shelves i'm super excited i figured i could do this part before i have to spray each individual plant clean off each individual leaf oh my gosh i'm not looking forward to it and i still have to water and stuff like that <sighs> it's still it's a lot it's a lot but i was just like you know what Let's do the fun part first, which is like setting up these shelves, or at least I think it'll be fun. Watch it be the hardest thing ever. I really freaking hope not, but let's freaking do this. I'm going to try to bring in the camera as best as I can so that you guys can see like exactly what I'm doing. Um... But yeah, I decided to move one of the, this fan used to be on the top shelf up there. And then I have two fans in the bottom. But this is where my anthuriums are the most. Like my seedlings and just like my, my bigger seedlings. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I was having fungal and bacterial issues. One, like because of the airflow. Which I know you hear it all the time. Like airflow is important. Anthuriums need a lot of airflow. And I just think that two fans is best. So it comes with these like suction cups. But anyway, yeah. So I decided to move one of the fans down here. That way there's two. And I do open up my cabinet every single day. Like for at least an hour or two. So that there's a an exchange in airflow with like fresh air and stale air just isn't like circulating within the cabinet but i don't know let's see if this helps with the airflow situation it even comes with its own little like level thingy i think that's what that is but anyway let's try to do this Normally when it comes to like <laughs> assembling anything, I always have Riley do it, <laughs> um, but we will try to girl boss this and do it ourselves, but we'll see how that turns out. The suction cups are like curved inwards, which I feel like is going to be an issue. Like they're supposed to be cupped that way. Oh lord. Like this. This is how it should be. I bet some of them are like this. Hopefully that's not an issue. We shall see. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. And this stuff stinks. It stinks as I'm undoing <laughs> As I'm taking everything out. Anyway, um, I ordered two shelves. So I want one on each side here. And I was even thinking about putting parchment paper over this barina light. Because if I'm going to put these shelves here, right? Like right here they're gonna be closer to the barina light and i just know that it could bleach the leaves and that's something i hate about the barina lights is that yes they're strong and they work really well but if you have your plants too close to them your leaves will bleach 
so i remember someone saying in the comments in one of my older videos like they said they put some kind of paper on top of their light to kind of diffuse it so now i'm like i forgot which paper they used and i don't really want to go searching the comments right now but parchment paper comes to mind for me let me take these out Oh my god, these like just perfectly fit right here where I want them to be. Oh my gosh. Wait, I might not even need to use these. So these are supposed to be like... Where's the instructions? Okay, so this comes with steps, but, oh, okay, so in the back it shows how you can use, so the little leg thingies, it's supposed to be like added support, but I don't think I need that. I think I might just do this, where I just put the suction behind it, and it's just, and then it'll just be like this essentially oh that would be nice there too but I, I ultimately i want them on the side like right here i think that's what be that would be nice so let's try to do this i'm gonna put the suctions behind it because i think that's what it'll that way i don't put them all in like a different levels and stuff So I've inserted the suction cups through the front here. And then I'm just going, wait, let me replace this one. I'm trying to use the ones that, this one's like almost flat, but I'm trying to use the ones that have more of that cuppy shape. Because <laughs> some of them just came flat, probably from being like pressed against each other. And then it says to use one of the soap wipes. So let's do that. And again, like these shelves, like there's only going to be seedlings on there or like smaller plants. So it's not like I'm putting heavy weight on them. So I think that they'll be fine. I think. I hope so. Alright, so I'm just wiping the glass with this. Just wiping the general area of where I want it to go. Then we'll grab it. I think I would like it right here. Where's this level thing? Right there seems the middle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press the suctions in there. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that was so easy and it feels sturdy. Okay, let me try to show you guys. You guys are still on the tripod, so it's kind of hard. But this is the shelf. I like that it came with this though, because this is really helpful. So I didn't have to like guess. So it is leveled. It's in the middle and it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it's very sturdy. I'm putting some pressure on it. And they're not coming off. Oh, this looks so nice. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay. You guys will probably be able to see this side a little bit better. But I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to put the suction, the suction cups in these uh, holes already. them in 
in like so. I was almost going to purchase the Moderna acrylic wraparound shelf, but I decided, you know, like just to save some money and I was just like you know what like I only want to put seedlings and I don't want a bunch of plants close to this light so I was I felt like this was more budget friendly and still effective for like what I want to use it for so I'll link them down below for both for two of these shelves it was like 20 26 bucks after tax and all that but anyway here's the shelf I'm gonna wipe the glass again on this side actually let me open up a new pack because that one's like dry but i will link these down below in case anyone's curious Alright, so I'm gonna grab oh I'm gonna grab the shelf. I'm gonna use this thing again. It's really helpful. And I'm just going to sorry if you guys can't see that well. I'll show you guys afterwards. Okay, so here are the shelves. Here's one. I'm like putting pressure on it and it's pretty sturdy. I really like it. And as you can see, it like fits just perfectly. I did not even check the measurements. Imagine if this was like longer or whatever, but it fits perfectly right there. And then here's the other shelf. So here's how it looks like the both of them and I tried to put them kind of at the same level but yeah here's the other one this one also feels super sturdy again it's not like I'm putting like freaking heavy terracotta pots on these but just testing them just to make sure because I'm freaking paranoid this so handy little pill guy anyway they're both leveled and it looks so good uh, i'm so excited to put the plants on them i still don't know if i want to cover my t5 with some parchment paper i know that sounds ridiculous but i'm telling you guys like if you have marina grow lights then you know if you know you know but anyway yeah really liking the way that this looks the cabinet is pristine and looking so good I am so excited to put the plants back in here, but also like we've got a lot of work still ahead of us. But anyway, I'm going to clean all this off. I'm going to go spray the plants down, wipe all the leaves and all of that. I'm not going to show that process. One, because I'm going to be doing it in the restroom. And two, the, like, the lighting in the restroom is just straight orangey yellow. It's just bad lighting. And I really don't want to have to try angling the tripod, using the light. It's just too much work. It's too much work. Um, but I will check back in once I'm... Once I have all the plants in and just show you guys the finished look of the cabinet. So, see you guys in a few.
Okay guys, we're back. It is currently like five something and I just finished cleaning up the cabinet, spraying all the plants, putting them back and everything. So let, let me go ahead and show you guys like what the cabinet looks like now. Okay, so here's the finished look at the cabinet. I freaking love the way that this shelf turned these shelves turned out i feel like it really did add a lot more room for some of the smaller plants for them to have a space and then more floor space for more of my anthuriums so yeah i really like them i have two hoyas right here and i really like the way that they look they look so freaking cute and i have my seedlings those are my red crystallinum seedlings and then you know my hoya props some more seeds my anthuriums and then more anthurium seedlings and yeah i basically sprayed everyone with like a three in one type of spray it's supposed to be like a fungicide miticide insecticide i'll put i'll throw up a picture on the screen of like the spray that i used but that's basically what i sprayed everybody with and the reason why i wanted to spray everyone with the fungicide is because of my previous video like i had a few people message me and just tell me hey if i were you like i would treat those plants that were next to the spotty anthuriums which I'll go ahead and show you guys those two and just like show you guys what I mean by spotty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went ahead and like sprayed everyone down with that. And I mean on camera they look good but like the new growth. So my Michelle Cross Zara in that video, I literally said that it was pushing out a new leaf. That leaf fell off um, whenever I was transferring everyone into the bathtub. I guess I knocked it off on accident. But I took a closer look at that new leaf and it was coming in like deformed and with damage. And I've reached out to the Anthurium Addicts page and like asked them why my leaves, why the new leaves on my Anthuriums aren't forming properly. And I had someone tell me that they could just be recovering from spider mites because I did have spider mites and yeah so I'm just trying to be patient I've never really dealt with a pest issue very seriously like I've never had such a bad infestation to where like my plants are being so badly affected by it I guess I just didn't know the severity of like how much spider mites I had or whatever um but yeah so just playing the waiting game i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep an eye on all of my anthuriums just to see if they come out with any spots um if the marks that they have now get any worse i was i was thinking about spraying them with bison 20 but i decided that i'm gonna hold off on something like that just for now because to me bison 20 is like super duper strong and I just didn't feel like that was necessary for these plants specifically, but I will be spraying the other plants, which I'll show you in a second, with Fison 20. So, yeah, everyone just got watered too. Everyone was like pretty thirsty. One good news though, I got super excited when I saw this, but this is my dock block cross with Carla. And look at that. She has new roots happening. I am so happy about that and yeah I chopped her in my let's chop my anthuriums video this is the top cutting and then the back the bottom cuttings up there which is doing really well too um, but yeah so this is the cabinet so fresh and clean I also took down the Valentine's Day jellies because I had them on there for a while but they finally came down but yeah 10 out of 10 i would definitely recommend these shelves they're super duper sturdy i kept like adding pressure just to test them even though i literally put the smallest plants on them i just wanted to make sure that they were sturdy enough but let me go ahead and show you guys the plants that i have isolated so here are the questionable anthuriums the one that have really questionable spotting 
it's really sad to see um i have not sprayed these yet only because these are all working on new leaves and i kind of just wanted to see so hold on first of all this is the one that kind of like raised some questions in that last video i had a few people like kind of be concerned about that one um but it's working on a new leaf right there as you can see and then this one is also working on a new leaf so is that one but yeah so you can see they all have like these weird spots that's a beneficial mite by the way um so yeah they're all pushing out new leaves and i kind of just wanted to wait and see what those new leaves would look like because i know that once i use fison 20 on them the new leaves are gonna die and i know this because i've treated an anthurium before with that had a new leaf coming and i of course got spray on the new leaf with the fison 20 and that new leaf completely crisped up and it died so yeah that's kind of why i've been holding off just to see how these new leaves would come in but I don't know i don't know if i'm making a mistake by waiting i had someone tell me that i should cut off the spotty leaves but the reason why i haven't cut off this one is because it's like the biggest one on this plant and they're still like providing energy for the plant so i don't know i don't know if i'm making a mistake by keeping these leaves on i guess you guys can let me know but yeah it's kind of unfortunate this is another plant that started developing the spots as well, which is really sad because I was supposed to give this plant to my friend Lily Planted on YouTube. And it's basically an SKG pink lemonade crossed with a Hoffmanii X. But obviously I'm going to have to hold on to it until, you know, I see future leaves come in with zero damage, zero spottiness. But yeah. These are the, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five plants, five anthuriums that are just looking a little questionable. I think I will go ahead and cut off the spotty leaves and then just see if the new growth will continue. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could have you guys input like right now, right this second. But yeah. I've been keeping an eye on them and just seeing if the spots will progress and so far they haven't but that's the update on them. I do have a lid on this and I have them closed off and I'll open it like I'll just leave a crack open at night just so it gets some kind of airflow inside but yeah that's the update on these spotty ones hey guys it's editing jen here and i just wanted to quickly pop in and kind of give you guys an update on what i've done with those plants that i have isolated just before anyone leaves a comment like saying this or that um i want to start off by saying that i did cut off the spotty leaves um also by the way like let me backtrack a little bit but i uh this video the one that you guys are watching was filmed about a week ago or two weeks ago i can't i don't really remember but um anyway i have since cut off those spotty leaves and um i've kind of just been waiting to see how the new leaves come in so i've kind of just been like letting them grow out i have not yet sprayed them yet not saying that i'm not going to treat them i will i've just been waiting for the leaves to fully expand and just see if this is an issue that's ongoing or like if it's truly fungal or if it was just spider mites all along that was causing certain issues so yeah um and just before anybody leaves a comment like what are you doing like just spray the plants go ahead and treat them and yada yada i just want to say that i'm simply going with my gut that's all i have to say like only i know how i'm growing these plants only i know my conditions and things like that so yeah 
That's all I can say about that. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. If you think that I should have treated them a long time ago, that's fine. We can agree to disagree. Um, just please don't be rude. Don't come at me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going with my gut when it comes to these issues. And to be honest with y'all, I've been going through like a plant burnout. I just haven't been feeling the excitement and just haven't really been wanting to like want to do plant care. I'm having to push myself to do the bare minimum and yeah, even doing the bare minimum, like I really don't even feel up to like wanting to do it. But of course, I still want to keep my plants alive. But I just feel like the issues that I've been facing lately, like at the end of the day, this is just a hobby for me. So whenever I'm faced with serious issues like pests and fungal stuff and this and that, it just really sucks out the fun of like owning these plants, if you know what I mean. And some of you guys might relate and like totally understand what I mean and what I'm saying. And some of you guys might be thinking like, well, that's to be expected. This is what comes with a hobby and this and this and that. And it's like, I get that i i really do but at the same time like i'm just such a i don't know i don't like i don't like overcomplicated things i don't like messing around with strong chemicals i don't like having to spend my free time spraying plants down constantly i don't like stressing about pests and things like that so those are all things that I've been facing and it just really, really, really has put a damper for me in this hobby. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Um, so, yeah. And it's not even just the plants that I have isolated. It's also the plants in my cabinet too. Just the other day, I was kind of like walking around not walking around. I was showing my husband like a few problems that have been happening in the cabinet. And he was like, wow, babe, like I didn't even realize that you were like going through this much struggle. And I was like, yeah, I really have just like leaves haven't been forming properly for a long time or what feels like a long time, because obviously it takes time to see each for each leaf to come in and to see if they're improving or getting worse. And I can say now that it looks like we're on the uphill now. Like, we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, a lot of new leaves coming inside the cabinet are finally forming properly. And um, I still have beneficials in there. Um, lots of new growth that are looking positive, but I'm still feeling the effects of like, I'm still like, we're still kind of going through it over here. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been going through lately. Um, and I just wanted to be honest with about that. I was watching, uh, Sprouts with Joy's video and she talked about plant burnout and stuff like that. And oh my God, like I just relate so heavily to that video and yeah, if you haven't checked it out, please do. Um, I just feel like sometimes on Instagram and even on YouTube, like we see a lot of beautiful plants and a lot of like healthy, growing, thriving plants. But like, I just want to be real about <laughs> this hobby and how freaking stressful it can be sometimes. It can be stressful. And yeah, I, I'm also feeling the need to uh, downsize soon. I just feel like I know my sweet spot and my sweet spot is usually around 80 plants to 90. Even then 90 is like pushing it, but I think I have over that amount. I think I'm in the hundreds now and I'm definitely starting to feel the effects of that. So yeah. And not even just the amount that I have, but the size like the size I live in an apartment and that's just it's whole that's a whole nother issue too that's a whole can of worms that we're not going to open right now but yeah definitely going to do some purging and chopping and all this other stuff but I just wanted to pop in and say all of this and if you're also going through things with your plant with your plants you're not alone I feel for you I understand you and we're going to get through it and do whatever you have to do to feel better. 
um so yeah anyway let's get back to the video but anyway yeah that's gonna be it for this video hold on <sighs> anyway yeah i didn't know what i wanted this video to be at first but i think this is just gonna be considered like some spring cleaning cabinet refresh type of thing but um yeah let me know like some tips down below about those anthuriums with the spots i will be treating them i just wanted to give the new leaves a chance because i just know that whenever i spray them they're gonna die off and uh, i don't know i guess i'll know I guess I'll just cut off the spotty leaves and then like see what those new leaves will look like. I'm trying to like tell myself that at least they're still growing. Like it's not all bad. They still appear to be healthy and like the roots still look good. They're still growing new roots and everything. But I know that I don't want to go very long without treating it and then have it turn into something that's like irreversible but yeah i've been really down about it to be honest it's like kind of really like weighing down on me and stressing me out because i love my ethereum so so much and i just really want them to thrive and not die <laughs> especially like something with something like caused by something that's like kind of out of my control but yeah anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye